All right, guys, as you know, we just had a major hurricane in the area, Hurricane Ian. A lot of firearms were damaged um, and things like ammunition and so forth. We are taking in a lot of firearms for restoration. We've had people as far as Tampa bringing their firearms in. Let's go into the armory and talk to Derek and see what's going on and uh, recommendations for bringing your gun in. You've been getting, obviously, a lot of guns in after the hurricane. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on in the shop here, what you're seeing, what you're able to restore, etc. Uh, so, like this AR-15, um, this is a good example. I'm doing a detailed strip on this gun um, so we can see evidence of all the rust that the gun sustained during the flooding. Um, if we can tackle it on the front end and get the gun soaking in ultrasonic cleaner, get it saturated in uh, some sort of gun cleaner, Nine times out of 10, we can save the gun. Mm -hmm. um, but there have been a few exceptions to it where the gun's just too far gone. What happens in that case? What service do we provide for that? Uh, so if the gun is deemed that it's gonna be unsafe to fire, um, we're gonna write up a letter um, that you can present to uh, your insurance company. Um, included in that letter is gonna be your serial number, make and model of the firearm, how much it would cost to replace that gun. And uh, it'll be signed by us to present to the, whatever homeowner's insurance you have. Mm -hmm. Very well. Um, the rates for the armory are going to be going up November 1st, so we would encourage people to bring their firearms in. Uh, and obviously time is of the essence as well. Yeah, absolutely. But also, since the rates are going up November 1st, for the next two weeks, they'll still be able to enjoy the, the regular rates here. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no so here we can see uh, AR-15 lower, uh, getting a detailed clean. Uh, you really have to get in nooks and crannies on uh, on these lowers to prevent any rust buildup. So we can see uh, use of Q-tips, uh, use of solvent wipes, and this is going to eliminate any oxidation of the metal. It's a pretty time-involved process. I think this lower took me about 90, 90 minutes to about two hours. Uh, we can see the reassembly of it, and um, your firearm is going to look factory brand new.